Good morning, people of the internet. How's it going? It's your fucking boy, John. Coming back at you again with another video. I hope everything is good on the other side. This, I guess, is the uh, the catchphrase of the channel, I think. I guess so. As you can tell, your boy got a bit of a trim, shaved off that nasty, homeless-looking beard. Although it did make me look pretty badass, I ain't gonna lie. Looking back, it made me look like I was some fucking... Uh, ex-war veteran or something man people when i'd be walking on the streets people would be walking away from me okay so yeah you've got the intimidation factor but <clears throat> people don't mess with you with that kind of beard i ain't gonna lie um and i'm pretty tall as well i'm six foot so that kind of goes in a little bit with the picture but i had to get rid of it because it was just it just felt really weird man it felt fucking itchy and uh, messy and everything but anyway it's the morning it's the morning it's just gonna turn 9 a.m. and I just came back from a run that I went to do in the gym uh, ran 2k uh, it was timed so I could see how long does it actually take me to do a 2k run because I've done it in, uh, before but I never actually knew what my limit was so now I know it takes me around 11 minutes to do 2k if I really run at it if I really go for it <clears throat> so uh, yeah we've got that out of the way I'm gonna bring that time down but anyway Dude, running or doing some sort of extraneous workout in the morning and waking up early. Oh, it's just such a simple fix. It's such a simple, simple fix to uh, mind-body connection. It just brings the mind and the body. That's all it does, really. You exhaust the body. So now the mind is focused on the body throughout the day. So you're more mindful of your body. You're more focused on the sensations in your body. And uh, therefore... What happens is you are more calm, you're more aware, you're more present and uh, if I had to explain it to you in a very short way rather than go into a long tangent, it's basically like being lucidly aware of everything. Life literally seems like a dream. <clears throat> Obviously there's the aspect of the uh, endorphins that are released and also the serotonin because you're working towards a long term goal which is beast mode of course. But it's just the best thing ever, man. So uh, if you're struggling, if you're struggling in your life right now, your mental health's maybe taking a bit of a decline, or you're a bit depressed, or whatever, uh, or an issue is bothering you, just focus on this. Focus on physical health, okay? Because when one area of your life improves, the other take the others also improve. There's a cumulative benefit effect. So when you improve your physical health, okay? Uh, I was reading Arnold Schwarzenegger's. <clears throat> education of a bodybuilder yesterday and in the book he says that there's no aspect in your life where bodybuilding won't improve uh, or improve that aspect there's no aspect bodybuilding will improve everything because bodybuilding is a discipline it's a skill it builds confidence it builds strength it builds assertiveness it builds a character and all of these traits can be exacerbated and generalized to your to other areas of your life so there is no area in your life where doing one good thing it won't have an effect on the others so make sure you're doing that make sure you're you just taking care of your physical health pretty much that's it i'm, I'm not going to guarantee that it's going to solve everything in your life but i'm going to guarantee that it's going to make you feel better and it's going to make you feel a hell of a lot more confident and you're just going to feel more in control because you're actually doing something difficult okay but anyway <clears throat> today's video is about trauma and why Trauma isn't necessarily a bad thing, okay? Yeah, I don't think it is. When you look at, you know, hard men, strong men, real, real, like, I don't want to use the word alpha types because that word is cringeworthy to me, but, you know, uh, I guess respectable masculine men, let's just call them that. When you look at these kind of people, they tend to have suffered pretty much a lot. They suffered hardship in their lives, either when they were a kid they had an abusive father or uh, maybe they were homeless or maybe they served in the military or the, you know traumatic incidents they can take they can come in all shapes and sizes but i find that a lot of these men who we respect they tend to have some sort of traumatic background which forms the crux of their identity which is i'm not going to let weakness win i'm not going to let weakness win i'm not going to let it dominate me 
essentially. I'm not going to let weakness and lethargy and debauchery and vice, sin if you're religious, I'm not going to let these these things which feel good in the moment but have a detrimental effect in the long term, I'm not going to let these things dominate over me. I'm not going to let anxiety and fear paralyze me. I'm not going to let depression rob me of my happiness and my sanity. There's a, a kind of a warrior spirit when it comes to this thing, and we are. You know, we, uh, if, you, if you look at the hero's journey, you will see that you start off on a hero's journey. You start off as a warrior. You're a young man. You've finally left the house. You've left your home. You've left your parents. You're in the world. And there's this new sense of being in the wild. Okay, I felt this when I moved out of uh, my home, when I moved out of my comfort zone. I felt this, I'm in the wild. So why, did, why do you think I come to the forest so much? I come to the forest so much because the forest represents the metaphysical aspect of being in the wild. You're in the wild, man. It's you versus the world. It's you versus everyone, man. And the forest is that kind of environment which really puts that into perspective, that it is me, but I'm also one with everything around me as well. So I'm alone, but I'm also not alone. It's kind of funny. But this feeling of being in the wild <clears throat> puts you in a different mindset. When I'm in the wild, when I'm away from my parents or away from comfort, I am very different. I'm very different. I'm more disciplined, I know that for sure. I'm a hell of a lot more... I have a lot more belief in myself to get shit done rather than uh, a lack of belief. Lack of belief simply comes from lack of practice. That's it. it it's not a long-term thing. It doesn't mean anything. Or it doesn't mean that this is who you are. Um, you know, character and personality is very, very a temporary thing. Um, it's You are what you, you do repeatedly, as Aristotle, good old Aristotle said. I don't actually like Aristotle that much. I prefer Plato. I ain't gonna lie. I like Plato a hell of a lot more. Both of them are very extreme. Very extreme people, I'm not gonna lie. Plato essentially wrote the book on totalitarianism. Um, and the ideal society <clears throat> and Aristotle of course is very much he rejects mythology and rejects that kind of uh, you know woo wee woo wee hippie shit and he's very much logical 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 but in secret he did like mythology so uh, he's a bit of a hypocrite but anyway I still respect the men because they had very very good things to say about society life and living in hardship and living in adversity so uh, when you get on the hero's journey <clears throat> you're starting to discover yourself, you're starting to figure out who you are, or rather develop into the person you're meant to be, that's how I like to see it. And you're a warrior, you're fighting, you're fighting yourself, you're fighting others, you're fighting nature, you're fighting, you know, you're, you're on a journey. And ultimately the destination is kingship, where you're sitting on the throne, you've conquered the kingdom, you've created the kingdom, and uh, now you can retire essentially as a king. Kingship is essentially... Um, the it's not even the end stage. I was gonna say it's the end stage of the retirement stage. It's actually not That's where the real work begins right when you become a king. It's when you've got your kingdom. You've got your finances You've got a core base of Where you can develop your life from Okay, so your core skills your core uh, beliefs your core uh, Morals your virtues you've got you know financial freedom of course you've got uh, you've got all of these things, I can't even put it into words, but you're just settled, you're secure now. You've got a base from which to go away from now on your own feet, essentially. So I like to define that as having, a, having some stable income, okay? Having a place to live that's your own. Having a, a vehicle, a car, or a motorbike, as in my case, right? And uh, that's your kingdom, right there. You're, you're secure. But now it's time to venture out and conquer more kingdoms. Conquer and go out more, all right? This is the hero's journey. <clears throat> well, this is the end stage, rather, the king, king, the king stage. And you need fuel, bro, to get on this journey because it's so easy to just say, fuck it, I don't want to do this. I just want to give up, you know? It's so easy to do that. It's so easy to just say that I don't want to get on this journey anymore. Uh, I just, I just want to enjoy the present moment. <laughs> I want to enjoy short-term pleasures. It's so easy. It's so easy, man. But you need that fuel, that grit inside of you. Something needs to be inside of your heart and your soul that says, I want more. I want more, man. I'm not, a, this isn't good enough. This isn't good enough. I want more. I need, I deserve more. 
and I expect more. And I expect more from myself. I don't care about other people. They can do what they want. They're always going to do what they want. I've got no control over them. But what I do have control over is myself. I can control myself and I expect more from myself. So am I going to be a bitch and cry about it and not do anything? And complain is that's kind of it really the complaining is what pisses me off <clears throat> because when you're not doing what you're supposed to do the internal monologue likes to pick up the inner demons and starts to complain and nag and throw out negativity here and there and whatever and this it manifests in the body as negative emotion and in order to get rid of that negative emotion you have to do something physical okay uh, i don't believe in the the idea of just sitting there and uh you know accepting the feeling and all that bullshit. I really think that the negative energy is a charge. It's a call to action. It's basically saying, okay, you're ruminating, you're contemplating rubbish, negative shit, which doesn't mean anything. It's just negative charged energy. What are you going to do with this? Are you just going to sit on it and let it manifest into a monster in your head? Because it will. Negative energy, if you don't let it go, if you don't let it move through the body naturally, it's going to end up manifesting as thought. It's going to manifest as behavior. You're going to start to repress the negativity which is going to manifest as muscular tension around the body. Yeah, usually, you know, around the around the neck, the back, the shoulders, the lower back, <clears throat> the abdomen, uh, the solar plexus, very common area where people hold a lot of negativity, uh, which is essentially the ego, right? You're just giving more power and energy to the ego. And the ego loves negativity because it uses it as fuel. Because it's like, this is my reason for existing. This negativity now well it technically is technically the negativity is the reason for the ego's existence but the negativity or the negative energy it's just energy it's, it's objective energy man it's not subjective oh you know some situation has caused this no it's objective it's just negative energy that's manifest in the body and then manifests as thought okay i i'm a firm proponent of the belief that you've got to run and you've got to really get rid of this negative energy through physical activity. Which is why working out every day, and I mean working out every day like a proper workout session, not, you know, 10 push-ups like I was doing before. That doesn't work. It's good to, that's good to get a pump and a warm-up, sure, but it's not a workout. A workout for me is something that really gets the sweat running, and I feel like I'm breathing heavy, and, and when I walk out, I feel a little bit exhausted. Not entirely, but sometimes, the more, pardon me, the more exhausted you are, the more satisfaction you get from the workout. So, that's about 12 minutes. Uh, this this video didn't have a topic. I, I know I started, I lied, I kind of uh, rickrolled you there. This video was supposed to be a top, topical video, but it ended up not being one. But anyway, your boy's good. I hope you're good as well. I hope you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Um, I'm going to make some more bodybuilding videos. I need to do that because bodybuilding, as you can tell from this shirt, is a, a huge passion of mine. So, I like talking about things that I like. That's what the point of this channel is, and also to help you lovely bunnies. So, hope you're having a pleasant day, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.